In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the advanced scheduling tool with TubeBuddy so that you can understand how it opens up a much greater world of possibilities to you than with the YouTube Studio's own built-in scheduling tool, which really is a little bit lacking in terms of uh, functionality. So let's dive straight into it. Uh, this particular tool is one that you'll find uh, next to every video. So uh, we've got a whole suite of tools that are specific to individual videos. So if we have a look in our um, content list, uh, you'll see that we've got this little TubeBuddy menu you here a uh, little click on that and you see it opens up this whole uh, range of different tools uh, actually five pages of different tools in here I will be covering all of these in due course uh, but for the time being we're just going to focus on this side here where it says schedule um, so there are a few different things here obviously as you know in YouTube uh, you can either make a video public private uh, save it as a draft um, or you can schedule it to go live or as a premiere or whatever uh, here we've got a few different options so scheduled publish is basically like that but with extra functionality so let's dig into that one first we'll then look at sunsetting videos and scheduled video update as well First, though, let's look at the scheduled publish. There's a couple of different things that it's going to do in here. Um, first of all, it's asking for just the time and the date and uh, the time zone as well, so that you can actually just set that out by whatever time zone you want. Uh, so that is nothing uh, particularly more than we get in YouTube, is it? However, what it does have in here is a built-in recommendation of the best time to post based on when your viewers are online. So you can find this in the analytics. Uh, uh, TubeBuddy has got a particular section in there that will tell you the best time to post. Um, but this is basically just bringing that all in, saving you the time of going and looking for it. It's giving you the recommendation. What you can do though is you can actually publish it, but you can set it to either public or unlisted. So it may be in draft. You may not want to publish it to public. You may want to publish it, but only to an unlisted video. This is something that you can't do in uh, SEO, in YouTube Studio, I should say. You can also add the video to a playlist after publish. Now, this is an important one because you may have a video that is uh, set to draft or something like that, and you don't want to include it in the playlist, or maybe it's unlisted. You don't want to include it in, the in a particular playlist uh, until it's made public. However, even unlisted videos, not private ones, but unlisted ones, if you have assigned them to a playlist, you do need to bear in mind that they will appear in that playlist, even if they're unlisted uh, and not public. So that is a crucial thing. You might have made a video unlisted thinking that nobody can see it, but if it's in a playlist, they will still show up there so what you can do here though is you could potentially have it unlisted um, but then you could set it to uh, to go public at a certain time and at that point you might want to then add it to a particular playlist after it's been uh, published like that uh, another thing that you can do here is add a comment at the time of publish so this is something that you might want to do to have a particular comment that is uh, in the, uh, the the uh, the comments where you might have a call to action or something or you might have something you know referencing a uh, perhaps you're referencing a course a product or something like that or there's some piece of information that you want to include in there uh, maybe even <laughs> speaking from experience something you forgot to mention in the video and you think oh I'll just have to go and remember to actually drop a, uh, a comment in to explain further about that or whatever it happens to be uh, well here you can just click on this little option here to add comment and then add your comment in it's the same uh, you know limit you've got on a regular comment you can just add the comment and so at the time of publishing it will then go and post that comment obviously as yourself as your your channel uh, handle uh, next, you've also got here, uh, email me a reminder 24 hours before the publish date. Uh, so that's quite handy. And uh, email me a reminder right now. So <laughs> if you've uh, forgotten what you've just done, uh, you can actually get the reminder immediately. Um, but you can also get one 24 hours before publish. So if you have got to, uh, you know, remember to go and do something else related to the video or something like that, uh, then that is a handy little thing. So that is just some advanced things that you've got with uh, with publishing uh, for um, uh, sorry for scheduling the publish. So that is certainly a step up from what we can do in YouTube Studio. But it does get better because uh, if I come back into this one again, and instead of going to scheduled publish, uh, I can go to sunset video. Now this is basically uh, the same, but in reverse. This is if you want to actually take the video down or take it off or change uh, from, uh, you know, change the status of it. So here we can go from um, 
you know, assuming it's a public video, uh, we can change the privacy to either private or unlisted. Uh, so if you've got something that's time sensitive, you know, you're, it's a video promoting an event, for example, that's happening on a certain date, and you just want to take the promo down after the uh, the date or, you know, within a certain time, uh, or it's time sensitive because it's related to some product release or whatever it happens to be, uh, I'll leave you to figure out all your use cases for this. Um, but here you can change the privacy so it will go to uh, private at this particular time, or you might have it go from public to unlisted. Um, coming back to that point I made about unlisted videos still being visible in playlists, um, then you've then got this option which becomes uh, more uh, critical, which is remove video from all playlists or a specific playlist. So if you did have it, uh, you know, you've got it going to be uh, from public to unlisted, uh, then you would just need to make sure if you don't want people to see it, that you do actually remove it from any playlists that it happens to be in. Uh, and once again, you've got those same options to email a reminder. Um, so that's basically something that's completely missing from uh, YouTube Studio is the ability to actually time the sort of takedown of videos as well. And there's one more option in terms of scheduling, uh, and that is scheduled video update. I think you can guess what's coming here. <laughs> but this is just basically being able to set a time when something is going to change with the video. Uh, and you can change all sorts of things. So you can change the title, the description, the tags, uh, the privacy as well. Um, you can even change the thumbnail. So if you've got something, again, that is maybe got some time sensitive, you know, thing on the thumbnail itself, for whatever reason, I'll leave you to evaluate that. <laughs> um, you can actually have it so that the thumbnail will switch at a, uh, at a certain time. Um, and then you've also got this option here. So if I was to change the title, and I'm just going to stick something in, X, Y, Z. You've got some options with all of these uh, where you can either overwrite or you might want to add it after. So you want to add some text after the original title or you can add it before. So you've really got some flexibility here. Um, again, with the description as well, uh, you can do the same. So um, let's just say, for example, you had a long awaited Zoom course that you were intending to launch <laughs> and you knew the launch date and you wanted to give a special discount offer on the date of launch, uh, <laughs> which would be a very bold thing to do. <laughs> um, then you could have it so that it basically prepends the uh, thing to the description with the, you know, Know, go and check out the course here or whatever at a specific date or similarly it could take that down if you've got a special offer that's running throughout a particular month um, then you might want to just go and uh, update the description to sort of take that down but have it sort of timed from the very outset um, so that is the uh, the actual um, uh, scheduling tools that we've got with TubeBuddy. So as you can see, it's quite versatile. Now, assuming that you've got your video up and running, uh, or rather, you know, all scheduled, you've worked on your SEO, you've got all your titles crafted and things like that. One thing that a lot of people want to do is actually embed their videos into either web pages or places like that, uh, and finding out the sizes that you actually want for, uh, you know, the video and all the little bits of code, because there's lots of different things that we can change on our embedded videos. So for example, things like the, uh, you know, do you want the playhead on there? Do you want to hide the YouTube tools or the things like that, the YouTube logo and uh, everything like that? Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to, tricky to actually figure out that code. And I know that a lot of people struggle with that. Well, fortunately, there is also the advanced embed tool in TubeBuddy. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in the next video. So I'll be explaining all about how to use that. And by the way, it's very simple. So I'll see you in that video.